were on LeChuck's ship, you turned the tables on them. You whipped out your sword and said, I'm your captain now. Take me to Monkey Island, where you'll all walk the plank. Uh, more or less. The name's Gullet, but you're not to call me that. To you, I'm the first swab. And I want to hear the capital letters when you say it. Capital One. Got it. And this is the old. You'll be spending a lot of time down here. I thought we'd have a union or something. How much time is a lot of time? All of it! You work here. You sleep here. You take your meals here. Forget the world you knew before. This hold is your world. The hull is your ground. The deck is your sky. And I am your deity of choice. A cruel and vengeful deity. I only have one simple rule. You are not to leave this hold under any circumstances. Any questions? Can I leave the hold? But no! What happens if I leave? I said you're not to leave under any circumstances. Well, I, I know, just hypothetically. What if I did? The worst punishment you can imagine. Which is... I throw you back down here. Nothing's worse than this. <laughs> Where's my bunk? You might be alright inside one of the crates. Otherwise, be sure to cover your eyes. The chickens like to peck. But it's probably safest if you don't sleep at all. The chickens have their ways. What's for dinner? Oh, we'd like a bit of dinner, would we? Well, perhaps we can arrange a bit of roast duck under glass for your majesty. <laughs> but seriously, learn to catch rats. You can drown them in your mop bucket. They make their own sauce. What if I need to, um, you know? Use the portal. Don't get anything on the ledge outside, though. I hate an unsightly ledge. What am I supposed to be doing exactly? No recruits. You're all thicker than the chickens. Oh, uh, is that the whole answer? You're supposed to be swabbing. I want this hold sparkling, as if it was clean. Now, get to work. <sighs> yo ho, yo ho, pirate's life for me. Looks like you missed a spot. Aww. Oh, I think it's chicken grease. I hope my roommates don't get upset. I'll let that one alone. She's got an egg. It's an inspirational, instructional pamphlet that I'm supposed to carry around and read. At least they don't smell like live chickens. Ugh, I'll keep my distance. Mothers are more vicious defending their young. I can't see much through this thing. More chickens? <laughs> Murray? Indeed, I am Murray, the all-powerful demonic skull. But you have me at a disadvantage, Withered Zombie Man. Have we met before? Uh, yes, at a demonic skull party. I recall a clumsy bartender spilling a lava guavatini on my necktie. That must have been you. Necktie? And you plague me now just as before. A curse of painful boils on your left foot for exposing me. I'm here undercover, gathering valuable information for the exquisitely devious Captain Madison. Madison? Very interesting. Ooh, I probably should not have said that. Do me a favor and keep it to yourself, Withered Zombie Man. No problem. How come you're working for Captain Madison? I thought you were your own man. Uh, Skull. I... 
owe her a favor. It's none of your business. Why do you owe Captain Madison a favor? Well, ironically, I was sealed up in a crate, and she freed me. Oh, you mean like I just did? It's not the same thing. What exactly is Madison up to? I would be a poor spy indeed if I told you that. You diminish us both by asking. Knock it off. Come on. Tell me what Madison is up to. You diminish us both by asking. Knock it off. Come on. You dimin... Well, I can't see much through this thing. Boy, these are really wedged in there. The rest of my gear is in there. I hope it'll be safe down here. It's probably fine. Oi! You missed a spot! Come on! Just put a little dab on there. Driving rain and crashing waves. Perfect sailing weather. I better leave it on while I'm on the ship. Uh, uh. It's a really tight fit. I can't quite squeeze through. You missed a spot. Is that your catchphrase or something? Uh, uh. It's a really tight fit. I can't quite squeeze through. Better. The grease helps. A little. The grease helps. A little. I think it's chicken grease. I hope my roommates don't get upset. Come on. Tell me what Madison is up to. You diminish us both by asking. Knock it off. This is now a slightly greasy porthole. The grease helps. A little. Looks like you missed a spot. Seriously, get some new dialogue. Looks like you missed a spot. Oh, nuts! Ah, it's working! useful for fishing than stopping. Blah, blah, blah. Blah. Bloody blah, blah. Bloody this is a blah, bunch of blah. empty containers of blah, monkey blood blah, and squid ink. Bloody blah, blah. Feast your eyes on this, me hearties. The one and only map showing the exact location of the secret of Monkey Island. <laughs> the map will be kept in my cabin. No one is to touch it or disturb it in any way. Now, before we can follow the map, obviously we must make our way to Monkey Island itself. Let's have the potion report. 
Wait, there's a potion? You don't remember that from my other story? To get to Monkey Island, you have to brew a special potion. But you and LeChuck had both been there before. Why couldn't you just sail there? Mm, it doesn't work like that. You have to make the potion every time. How does the potion work? I don't know. Nobody does. It's magic. It just helps you find Monkey Island. What's in it? Oh, um, let's see. Uh, it's got squid ink and monkey blood uh, and a pressed skull. I definitely remember that. Also, cinnamon, mint, and brimstone and some coloring and preservatives. Oh, and a live chicken. But listen, you shouldn't worry about this yet. Wait till you're 12 or so. Okay, I think I got it. The potion is nearly finished, Captain. All that's left is one flattened skull, and we'll be ready to cook it. Excellent! You there, in the back! New guy! Me? Hmm. You look familiar somehow. We met about an hour ago, while Iron Rose was introducing me around. I'm the new Swabby. Doesn't ring a bell. Well, no matter. Go and get us a skull. A flat one. Any questions? Why do we need a skull? To finish the voodoo potion. We just went over this. Why do we need a skull? To finish the voodoo... Well, why does it have to be a flat skull? Because the recipe says so. Where should I look for a skull? That's your problem. Can I have a raise? Sure. Straight into the rigging, where you'll hang by your ankles for the next few years. Got it? Never mind. Yeah, you get used to it. Okay, I'm on it. One skull. Flat. Be quick about it, then. Meeting adjourned. We'll finish the potion, and then I'll see about getting my hands on that map. How's the potion coming? You heard the captain. It's nearly finished. Go and find a flattened skull like he told you to. You can't do that. Find a regular skull and flatten it. Nice looking skull you got there, Apple Bob. Now before you get any ideas, I'm a ghost. My skull won't work. And Putra already asked. Why don't you stick your own head in the pot and see what happens? Relax, I was just making conversation. I'll find a skull someplace else. Sorry if I offended you. Oh, that's okay. I know you're under pressure. This is a bunch of empty containers of preservatives and coloring agents. Shouldn't you be up in the crow's nest doing lookout stuff? Mm, the best show is down here. I want to see if you screw up this thing with this girl. Can I check the crow's nest for a skull? There's nothing you need up there. Any ideas for where to find a skull? I'm really more of a watcher than a helper. What's it like working for LeChuck? I can't complain. Really? It's in the employee handbook. No complaining. You'll live longer if you remember that, new guy. Do we have a union? You sure don't, Swabby. Gotta go. I've got a job to do. My condolences. The first item in the ship's safety procedures is never to try to pet Scruffles. Uh, pardon me, fearsome leader. I told ye to find a flattened skull. Do it! Before I decide to use yours instead! Top deck schedule. One bell, crew voting. Two bells, the chuck shouting. Now's not a good time to attract attention. Art is supposed to grab you, but this is taking it too far.
toasty. Wait a minute. That looks exactly like Elaine's wedding veil. Nice. A slideshow of creepy zombie guys. If I'm wrong about what that is, taking it would be a big mistake. If I'm right, it would be a bigger one. If I'm wrong about what that is, taking it would be a big mistake. If I'm right, it would be a bigger one. I know art is supposed to grab you, but this just... These open plan offices are all the rage now. Reminder to all crew, extinguish demon fire with the proper extinguishment. Other methods will not work. Oh, I barely touched it. It just fell apart. I was barely even here. Ha ah, ah. You're out and about. Hey, Murray, why don't you come with me? I can show you around the ship. No. I really think you should come with me. No. Please? Spare me your dull entreaties. I cannot be moved. Uh, figuratively speaking. Hey. This one doesn't open. That's a big rudder. This one doesn't open. It just fell apart. I was barely even here. What's for dinner? Let me apologize in advance. You're gonna have to take one for the team. I see no team. Only you, withered zombie man. Let me assure you that whatever you're planning, it will be nothing compared to the torments that I will... Ah! I would admire your methods if they had been used on someone else. Uh, thanks, I guess. How's it going in there, Murray? I don't want to talk to you right now, except to say that exquisite punishments await you at your final resting place. Hey, what are you... Next stop, Monkey Island. Swabby! Good. Why are you out of the old? You're not ready for the deck. Where's your mop? Also, I... Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh. I can explain, sir. I guess you'll be first swab now, whatever your name is. A promotion? I won't let you down. This'll be ruined now it's spilled. Start making the potion again. I'll be in me cabin, gritting me collection of other people's teeth. Redo the potion? Is that even possible? No! We barely scraped together the ingredients the first time. We're out of almost everything. Let's tip the cauldron back and pretend we're working on it. Maybe he'll forget about it eventually. You don't know LeChuck like I do. But it'll buy us some time. Is this one of those times where you substitute different stuff for all the ingredients and it works anyway? No, they were right. We couldn't make the potion again. But you told me that you can't get to Monkey Island unless you make the potion. Well, I did. But, as it turns out, there is a way. We storytellers call what's happening now a twist. There was an important piece of the puzzle that I hadn't seen yet. I started by looking around the ship for opportunities. Hey! This is a bunch of empty containers of monkey blood and squid ink. Go it! You! He's pretty securely pinned there by the rudder. There's also a knife in his back, but that's clearly not why he's stuck. Looks like an antique. You clown. That isn't gonna do any good. It wasn't even bothering me. I have to say, I thought you were gone for good. I was feeling no small amount of pleasure about it, in fact. It'll take more than a bath to get rid of old Gullet. Now pull me out of here before I hang you by your own intestines, swabby! Well, it's actually first swab now. What is? Me! The Chuck gave me your job. You? Not likely. I do prefer a management role. Less scrounging, more lounging. I'm gonna give your pancreas to my rat for a pillow! You might want to take a friendlier tone. This is my friendly tone, you blabbering pile of excrement! I can hold my breath for ten minutes, more or less. How about you? Well, technically, I don't have to breathe at all. But it's a reflex, isn't it? You can't really stop doing it, but it feels like drowning the whole time. So get me out of here right now, you colossal git! I'm the only one who knows you're down here. Not true. I know I'm down here, don't I? I guess you've got me there. Ha! If I leave you here, do you think you can free yourself? Of course not. You think I haven't tried that already? It's a matter of leverage. As in, I'm going to get a lever and smack you in the head with it if you don't get me out of here right now. Once we set sail, you'll probably be crushed into paste by the rudder. Why would you tell me that? Well, in case you're worried about being stuck for a long time. When I get my hands on you, I'm going to eat both your legs, throw them up, and then eat them all over again. It would be smart of me not to give you the opportunity then. Nice talking to you, Gullet. What do you mean, nice talking to you? Oh, I don't mean it literally, of course. Just politely ending our conversation. Wait, no, no, get, get me out of here for pity's sake. You baboon! I get you for this. Looks like it's empty. Things get more sophisticated every year. Would that we all did the same. Hey, whoa! 
Bomb Bay. Ship ahoy. It's Captain Madison. Ready the cannons. Don't worry about it. The Chuck already knows they're out there. Wait, never mind. Something's going on. They've got a cauldron on deck. That looks like a cinnamon stick. Mint. Squid ink. Hey, wait a minute. I know that recipe. They didn't come to sink us. Those weasels are going to Monkey Island. Okay. They undercut my three... I mean, three woods expedition so they could claim the prize for themselves. You don't want to say that name out loud on this ship. Trust me. Why aren't they happier? A well-placed stab in the back is cause for celebration. Aha! They're missing a skull! We don't need a potion because they have one! What? Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Make ready to sail. Do I look like a quartermaster to you? You sure don't look like one to me. I'll go talk to Iron Rose. This is gonna be great. If you say so, Swabby. I've got an idea for how we can get to- So you say, or someone who cares if- I have an amazing idea. Does it involve mopping? No, it involves following another ship to Monkey Island. See, Captain Madison is just east of us right now. They're brewing the potion to go to Monkey Island. So? So I'm gonna help them finish it, and then we follow them. All I need to do is get them a skull somehow. Make ready to sail. No. We don't even want to go to Monkey Island. Golan gave us a perfect excuse to skip it, and now you're about to screw it up. Let's lock him in the hold. Whoa, hang on. I, I thought the whole point of this voyage was to go to Monkey Island. It was, but that was strictly LeChuck's idea. There's nothing on that island except for the secret. The secret doesn't split six ways. <clears throat> Seven. LeChuck only wants it because of his obsession with that stale glass of milk guy brush threepwood. I think you're making a mistake. Let's put it to a vote. Voting is supposed to be at one bell. Fair enough. The matter before the crew is the question of whether we should go to Monkey Island. I vote nay. 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 <clears throat> Aye. The vote to go has to be unanimous. It isn't. Meeting adjourned. What? Unanimous? It means I had to convince each and every member of the crew to change their vote. Wow! Listen, about that trip to Monkey Island. That we voted against. Exactly. I want to try to persuade you to change your mind about it. Or if not your mind, then at least your vote. Good luck with that. I'm regretting hiring you right now. I could do you a favor in return. Win-win. That's how politics works, right? I don't bargain away my opinions and judgment for cash or favors, Swabby. I'm not for sale. I have a moral center. Uh, I've got one of those. It's just kind of small and off to the side. Like a hangnail. Let's hope it doesn't cause you any trouble in your career as a pirate. Mm, not so far. As quartermaster, it seems like you should be more loyal to LeChuck, who, I will point out, very much wants to go. I've been with LeChuck a long time. Exactly! In the beginning, I really admired the way he saw the world. Through a reddish haze of constant anger? I don't know, that's just it. I can't even remember what I found so inspiring. It makes it hard to follow his lead on a personal quest like the secret of Monkey Island. Oh. I still think he should vote to go to Monkey Island. I don't want to talk about that now. I'm having a crisis of faith. About not being inspired by LeChuck to follow his lead. Okay.
I'd like to discuss your vote on the Monkey Island issue. It's nay. I'm afraid going to Monkey Island doesn't really have anything in it for me. Wouldn't the change of scenery be nice? I've seen lots of scenery. How about I make it worth your while? Go on. I'll be your best friend. My best friend will always be the sea. Or maybe Putra. I'll get you transferred to the other yard arm. I've been there. I prefer this one. I'll take your next shift. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were after my job. No thanks. Well, what would you be interested in? Well, I've got all I need, but I'm bored. We used to have an entertainment budget, but this fancy new ship is leveraged like crazy, so there are no frills anymore. Entertainment, you say? I'm sure I could come up with something. Entertainment is my middle name. <laughs> well, that's funny. Oh, I do like a good joke. They don't last very long, though. This is a bunch of empty containers of preservatives and coloring agents. Working hard? Never. Let's talk about your vote on going to Monkey Island. Are there any particular favors I can do for you? I don't know a lot about your interests. My main interests are sleeping and eating. I try to do both as much as possible. Uh, about your vote? It doesn't mean much to me one way or the other. But hey, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. You want me to scratch your back? <sighs> Figure of speech. No need to burn yourself. Do something nice for me, and maybe I help you. About your vote? Do something nice for me. Do you have a favorite food? Oh, yes. Scorched Alaska. Salty like widow's tears. Sweet like revenge. And fiery like a hot poker to the tongue. Uh, except when Putra makes it, unfortunately. She does not make it hot enough for my taste. What's the book? It's a book of underworld jokes. Jokes from beyond the pale. <laughs> Unheard of in this world. Does it hurt to have your head on fire? I'm a demon. We're sort of all about that. You get used to it. Underworld jokes, you say? Any good? Hilarious. Would you describe that book as entertaining? I would use a shorter word, but yes. Think you'll be done reading soon? Nah. I don't really have anything else to do. Tell me again about Scorched Alaska. Prepared correctly, it should be like a hot poker to the tongue. If you stuck your head in a bucket of water, would it help? Demon fire burns into water, so no. I'm guessing you don't wear hats. Once in a while, <laughs> I look good in them. For a few seconds. I can't stop thinking about your head. I mean, what it would be like to have a head that was on fire. I can help you out with that if you are really curious. Keep up the bad work. Always. Ah, uh, oops. <laughs> Top deck schedule. One bell, crew voting. Two bells, the chuck shouting. You, Swabby, come over here. You be new to my ship. I like to meet each of my crew. What's your name, Swabby? Mike, look, I'm just going to call you Swabby. It's not good for the chain of command if we get too friendly. Any questions? None? Good, I likes an unquestioning crew. Now, get back to work before I use your entrails as bait. Wait! Um... Don't forget the keel hauling tomorrow at four. I like to think of it as a team building exercise. I won't. I guess it's a good sign if they're not trying to leave. 
stop overfeeding Molly, you rotten clods. She has digestive trouble and I'm tired of cleaning it up. Reminder to all crew, extinct, I'll probably do my shirt in a few weeks when it starts to get mossy. Uh, Flair? Yes? Can we talk about your vote on going to Monkey Island? No. Oh, come on. There must be something I can do for you. Something you want? Nothing you can give me. Try me. Okay, fine. Earlier today, I lost my grandmother's whale knife. It was a gorgeous heirloom. I treasured it. And now it's gone. Bring me the knife, and I'll vote for your stupid plan. Great. Can you tell me where and when you last saw it? It was sticking out of Gullet's back. Right after I stabbed him with it. Probably still there. I have your knife. My grandmother's knife. Thanks, Swabby. I have no idea how you pulled that off, but I guess a deal's a deal. I'll vote for your stupid plan. So, Putra. Chef Putra? Please call me Chef. Everybody does. They do? No, never. But they should. I'd like to try to sway you on the Monkey Island book. Save your breath. I'm unswayable. There's only one opinion I value, and that's Iron Roses. She's the smartest one on the ship. Second smartest. Now that you mention it, I'm remembering that I said just last week that I'd always vote with Rose. So I'm gonna do that on this, too. Whatever way Rose votes, that's how I'll vote. Thanks for reminding me. Oh. How come people don't call you Chef? Because they're a bunch of pedestrian clods who wouldn't know a great meal if it hit them in the mouth. Which, by the way, it often does, if you cook it right. Or wrong. But mainly it's because technically I am a cook, not a chef. It's a job title. So a chef is better than a cook? Not necessarily. I mean, a good cook makes better food than a lousy chef. But being a cook is mostly about mastery of materials and technique. Whereas a chef adds artistry, improvisation, and innovation. Anyone who's tasted my boiled monkfish and haggis dumplings should agree that I deserve that title. So a chef outranks a cook? Yeah. Of course, on a ship this size, I'd still be the only one making food, so that part doesn't mean anything. It's just about the recognition. Does a chef get paid more than a cook? Ah, I mean, yes, but on this ship, not enough to make a difference. It's the principle of the thing. Well, have you tried to get a promotion? Only about a dozen times. I keep the written request handy, complete with case studies and cost-benefit analysis. There is absolutely nothing wrong with this. But LeChuck refuses to sign it. Management. <laughs> yeah. I don't suppose you know how to make Scorched Alaska? Of course I can make Scorched Alaska. But I'm not going to. Why not? Scorched Alaska is the kind of thing that requires a skilled chef. Apparently, I'm still only a cook. I see. I'll let you get back to cooking. Yeah. Putra makes a compelling case for promotion. Why don't I see if I can make some headway with your promotion? I think LeChuck likes me. <laughs> sure, knock yourself out. If nothing else, we'll all get some entertainment out of it. What? Keep your eyes off that map, Swabby. That be the one true map to the secret of Monkey Island, procured by me at great expense and no small amount of trouble. So I'll not have you touching it, even with your eyeballs. Leastwise, not while they still reside in your skull. What do you want, Swabby?
just spitballing here, but Putra really deserves a promotion. She makes a mean eyeball soup. And when I say mean, I do mean that quite literally. Did she put you up to this? Putra has been trying to wrangle a promotion out of me for years. Go tell Putra her plan failed, and to make sure she's at the keel hauling at four. Didn't Guybrush Threepwood get to Monkey Island years ago? Guybrush Threepwood is a fancy pants wearing third rate sailor and a has been pirate. He stole the woman I loved, and I will eat his heart at the gates of hell. Did you really love Elaine, or was it more of a. My patience is wearing thin, Swabby! One more thing, Swabby. Now that you be first swab, you'll be needing to fill out the Swabby report. Take this report, fill it out, and give it to Iron Rose for her initials. Some say it's Grog that keeps a pirate ship running. It's not, it's paperwork. I guess it's a good sign if they're not trying to leave. I'll probably do my shirt in a few weeks when it starts to get mossy. I still think he should vote to go to- I don't want to- I'm having a crisis of fa- Okay. Could you initial this report, please? This doesn't look complete. I'm sure you can find more wrong on this ship than that. Okay. Disgraceful. Ghost rats. Ugh. It would take forever to itemize in here. I'll just make a blanket entry for the whole galley. It's revolting, and it's a slipping hazard. I wonder what it's made out of. Nice chicken. Don't bite my fingers off, okay? Ugh, I'll keep my distance. Mothers are more vicious defending their young. The rest of my gear is in there. I hope it'll be safe down here. It's probably fine. Hey, Gullet. 
I'm assuming no one will actually read this and come down here to find him. That's it. I've completed my report. I should show it to Iron Rose. Uh, <clears throat> Could you initial this report, please? Huh. Yes. Very thorough. See? I am good at my job. I wouldn't go that far. Here. I've got a bunch of other reports ready for the captain's signature. Why don't you take him the whole stack? Well, I'll probably do my shirt in a few weeks when it starts to get mossy. Shouldn't ye be swabbing? Paperwork? Okay, hand it over. All stamped. Now please give me some peace and quiet. Good news, Chef Putra. You're officially promoted. I'm a chef! Chef Putra! <laughs> Thanks, Swabby. You're amazing. I owe you one. So, chef. Now that you're a chef, would you make me a scorched Alaska? Of course. I have to warn you, though, it's not going to be very spicy. Why's that? I'm totally out of demon pepper. It'll be fine. You wouldn't like the full strength version anyway. Some chefs these days use dandruff out of a can. But I would never take a shortcut like that. One scorched Alaska, extra mild. Thanks. Salty. Can I give you a hand washing these plates? Nah, I already did those. Can I ask about that pepper shaker? It was demon pepper, made from demon peppers, which are basically the hottest peppers you can get. Do not, under any circumstances, put it on anything you intend to eat. I like spicy food. Not like this. Burns on the way in, burns on the way out. In between, burns. Doesn't matter though, the shaker's empty. I'm all out. So, Chef. Did you know Gullet well? Sure. He and I were the only zombies in the crew until you came along. How did you become a zombie? Oh, the usual way. I was at the Culinary Academy at the time. At first, I thought I was having an allergic reaction to some strawberries. <laughs> <laughs> How about you? Me? Um... I'm a zombie by marriage? <laughs> Good one. I was married once, too. I know what you mean. Uh, sometimes I forget I'm a zombie. I don't. Every time I try to get a decent cooking job at a restaurant or some swanky manor house, they say I'm too green, and they play it off like they're talking about experience level, but I know what they mean. Zombies need not apply. We don't want them rotting near the food. You must have experiences like that. My birthday party clown gig really dried up. Imagine thinking zombies are scarier to children than clowns are. <laughs> There's no justice. It's absurd. What was Gullet like? Well, you'll have noticed he was a bit of a bully. Not at all. 
He didn't have much power or control in his life, and he was insecure about that. So he compensated by being domineering, vicious, and cruel whenever he had the opportunity. You don't say. But he had his good side. He wrote poetry. Nobody else knows that. He kept it a secret. He was always afraid someone would steal his ideas. Not that anyone would have. His poems were total garbage. <laughs> Anyway, I'll let you get back to cooking. Yeah. Whoa. I'm not sure those are quite dead yet. It sounds like screaming, but really quiet. Call in a few favors, but I managed to get you this. Ugh, take the monstrosity away. Its blandness offends me, even at a distance. Scotch Alaska must be like a hot poker to the tongue. Looks like it's empty. Ready for cannon firing. That seems promising, but inconvenient for carrying around. This should make it good and scorching. I had to call in a few favors, but I managed to get you this. Scorched Alaska. Sweet, poisonous shades of my shady and poisonous childhood. It seals me inside like a lost love. A masterpiece. Eh, there's one bite missing. I, um, well... Much respect, Swabby. I am in your debt. I hate being in date, so uh, let's just say I'll vote your way next time we talk about that uh, plan of yours. The one with the monkeys. You're not reading this. Can I borrow it? Sure. I'll let you have it for the rest of the day. Thanks. Bob, I've got a great book for you. Hey, this looks promising. Thanks. I owe you one. Can I count on your vote to go to Monkey Island? Sure, no problem. about that now. I'm having a crisis of faith. About not being inspired by LeChuck to follow his lead. Okay. Can't you see me be thinking? Make it quick, Swabby! What do you want, Swabby? I may have figured out a way to get to Monkey Island. I spotted another ship making a potion, and we can just follow them. What does that nameplate say? Uh, the one there, on my desk. It says LeChuck. And LeChuck is a leader, not a follower. Now get out of here so I can think! That's my private area, Swabby.
got enough to last me. It's my very own, very sharp, non-magical ceremonial knife. Pirate Times, editor Conrad Lee, ready to publish your unrecognized... It's empty now. Do you remember giving me this at my orientation? It's got some good stuff in it. Oh, yeah. I put it together myself, you know. No kidding. <laughs> Betray trust, commit fraud, threaten bodily harm. So unswerving, so unapologetically ruthless. This really takes me back. Me too. Uh, back to earlier today in my case. LeChuck is really an amazing leader. You can hang on to that if you like. No, thanks. I'm good. Now that I've remembered why it is that I'm willing to follow LeChuck anywhere, even when I think he's doing something stupid. Just so we're clear, that means you're going to vote to go to Monkey Island now? Yes. Even though I know you want me to. Works for me. I think I've got everyone's support now. Time to call for another vote. Can we vote on going to Monkey Island again? You want another vote? Go ring the bell yourself. One bell! Voting hour! Didn't we just do this? The meeting is called to order. Are there any matters to be voted on? Following Madison's ship to Monkey Island, on which I vote aye. 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 Six in favor, none opposed. I hope you're happy, Grandma. Everybody, get ready. We'll follow the other ship as soon as she gets underway. Yes. So then you went to Monkey Island? Not right away. I still needed to get my hands on the Chuck's map to the secret. Deck schedule. One bell, crew voting. Two bells, the Chuck shouting. That time again already? Well, let's get to it. Back straight, you shifty, feckless parasites! Why is the ship's cauldron still empty? I distinctly ordered a mystical voodoo potion. If a ship is going to function properly, blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 flee you. It's not much of a map. There's just some writing on it, but clearly it's important. It's not much of a map. There's just some writing on it, but clearly it's important. If I'm wrong about what that is, taking it would be a big mistake. If I'm right, it would be a bigger one. I think he'll spot the difference. Now I just need to get Madison a skull, and we'll be good to go. In conclusion, shape up, or the eels will be gnawing on your carcass! All right, same time tomorrow, then. Dismissed. Looks like it's empty. Hey, 
Hey, Gullet. He's pretty securely pinned there by the rudder. Can I get you anything? You can tell whoever's been turning the ship's wheel to knock it off. Like it lose a leg or something. I'll be sure to pass that along. Looks like it's empty. That had better be the sound of you working, Swan. Okay, Murray, I just need one more thing from you. I hope you're not allergic to gunpowder. Of course I'm not. Hey, what are you doing? These things are dangerous. Ready for cannon firing. She's underway. We're nearly there, me hearties. The fabled shores of fabled Monkey Island. Captain Madison and her associates will have to be dealt with, of course. But our top priority is the secret. <coughs> Extra grog rations for everyone. Grog. Hey! hey. All right. right. <laughs> Oops. What? I did not see that coming. I want to savor this, so I'm going to let you have the first jab. You're as rusty as that butter knife you call a sword. We're both yeah. still sharper than you. Yeah. Okay. Decent comeback. Why don't you try again? You're all bluster and no luster. Well, you're all a <laughs> custard. Blast. Hey! Hey, cheating! I won that round. Also, I'm pretty sure we're supposed to use the swords when we do this. You don't seem to know how to use a sword. I can't decide if you're waving that thing like a feather duster, or more like a mop. Hey, I know that one! Oh, I've been practicing, huh? What comeback would you use for waving it like a feather duster or like a mop? Either way, I'll clean the floor with you! That's what I thought, too. I can't decide if you're waving your sword like a feather duster, or more like a mop. Either way, I'll clean the floor with you. Too late to start doing your job now, Swabby! Hey! You're laying a comeback on my comeback? That's gotta be against the rules. You really should keep up on the latest trends. Hi, <laughs> Freepwood! Wow! Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and comment on this video, and click subscribe if you haven't already, as this seriously helps me to keep making great content for you.